Hello channel friends, this is W Copeland 38 and today I can hardly wait to bring you this review. I have been waiting for this knife for a really long time. They sell out quite quickly and I just finally got it in. I could hardly wait to get it out of the box and show it to you. This is the SOG Specialty Knives and this is the Aegis Tanto Digistyle Knife. This, of course, like I said, is the digital style grips. It's a Tanto blade. It has a spring assist. And I'll get a few specs out here for you. It's a three and a half inch black TINI coated and with half serrations. Now if you've seen my other videos you know I kind of tend towards the drop points and non tanto with uh, no serrations. Well this one I was just happy to get something in. Let me tell you, I, I didn't really mind getting the Tonto on this one. And once you get a closer look at the knife, you'll see what I'm talking about. Of course, it's the Desert Digicamo texture on it. A really nice coloring. Now you can see it's got the rubber liners right here. And they say SOG. Now if you remember from my original video, SOG stood for Studies and Observation Group and they came out in uh, Vietnam. Now a few things about the knife. We'll get a few specs down. It has an overall length of eight and a quarter inches and it weighs 3.1 ounces so it's not really heavy but it's not very small. This is just an exceptionally great knife. I can hardly wait to show you the some of the other features on it. It has a locking blade. See right there I've got it in position with the safety off because I'm going to be opening it. It's got really nice thumb studs. They're beveled. Now it is designed for left and right hand carry but it's in tip up only position. There's your SOG spear point uh, clip. Here's the release. Allows you to get it back. On off lever for safety. So it can't possibly open in your pocket. Of course it's the black titanium nitride coated blade. And there you have the Aegis Tanto with the SOG logo. Now if you notice, see these uh, dimpling on it? This is a very, very grippy knife. And now it's time to open it. Make sure the safety is off. And BAM! Love that opening action. This is really great. Now you can see the black TINA coating on it. Of course it's got the serrations and as I said before I don't always like them but I was so happy to even get this knife that uh, I decided I'd take whatever came up first. I might order the uh, spear point later but I just wanted to get this one in stock. Now let's talk about some jimping. Anybody see any jimping? Can you find some jimping on this knife? You bet. Look at all the jumping. This is a very solid grip on this knife. If you're pushing hard with your thumb, it's not going to slide anywhere. You have jumping all the way from the blade up to the Zytel handle. Now the Zytel is very, very strong. And now here's another little surprise. It's what causes it to be light, no steel liner. It's pure Zytel. Now some people say that without the steel liner, the Zytel becomes weak. I say no, not really, not for the average use that you're going to use this for. This is for possibly a little bit heavy EDC use and self-protection. Now we don't want to go out and be stabbing at people, but let's face it, uh, it's a dangerous world and you're going to need some type of self-protection on you at all times. 
there's the grips on it it's got a little bit back here for gripping it's really excellent this digi camo really really caught my eye now they'd had several out that didn't have it and they're just a smooth finish and they didn't really catch me I wasn't too interested in them I've had I have another SOG that I did a review on before you've seen it and after that I I've seen the other SOGs and I wasn't really impressed with them but this digi camo design on the handle man th that's really something else it's really nice going to give you a nice little close view of the whole thing of course Aegis in Greek means shield or protection well baby this is some protection right here let me tell you the Tanto point is nice it's pretty sharp right out of the box we'll do a quick test on uh, some folding cards that I've got and of course my rope this this knife here just speaks for self-protection and self-defense it's real SOG quality it's got a cool factor I know I go up to 1 to 10 and, and this is a straight 10 here it's got a nice indent for the index finger nice curve in the handle with the jimping on the top as I described before you can get a real good grip on this knife it's very good for piercing and cutting Let's see, get it back in here where you can see it there you go now of course like I said before we need to know if the knife's going to cut here's the old business card let's see how she does <laughs> uh, you just saw that one with your own eyes let's do one more that's a nice little razor blade there and I haven't touched it not at all okay went through that pretty good let's try to pierce good excellent excellent job on doing that of course let's bring in the rope this is my half inch you see me use it before no sweat that was nice I'd do that again but I'm running short of uh, my nylon half inch rope so gonna have to make it last a little bit longer well friends as you can tell this is a really great knife get it to come in here Aegis Tanto. Now we'll close it. Safety's off. Release this, your little lever, and it folds right back. Now we'll open it one more time for you. Bam. Homeboy loves this one for sure. Let's close it one last time. Give you a nice view of the whole thing. This is a definite buy. It was a little bit pricey. It's not the usual ones where I get for $30. This one's is a little bit higher, around in the $60 range, but it is well worth it. The SOG Tanto Tit Digicamo Aegis knife with a black TINI finish blade. Excellent for your collection. Check out my I'm glad you checked my video. Go to Amazon or anywhere else and find one of these with either the Tonto tip or the drop point and pick one up as soon as you can. You will not be disappointed with it. This is W Copeland 38 saying I'll be back with more for you. You have a good day.